Okay, quick tutorial on how to create a two photo final submission to submit into Canvas. Uh, we're going to start in Lightroom with our photos after we've edited them and they're ready to go. We're going to choose the photos we're using. Again, this is a two photo submission, so I'm going to command click and highlight the two photos that I need. Then right click, go to edit in, and then edit in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to edit with Lightroom Adjustments and open anyway. And now these are both open in Photoshop. From there, we're going to need to resize them to the appropriate size based on the assignment and the instructions. For this assignment, we're changing them to 5 by 7.5 inches at 150 ppi. So we're going to go up to Image, go down to Image Size. From here, make sure that inches are selected. We're going to change width to seven and a half, and our height would be five. If your photo is vertical, then it would be the opposite. Uh, and then we're going to change our resolution to 150, and we're going to hit OK. We're going to do that to the other one. Image, image size, change this to 7.5 at 150, and hit OK. Now we need to make our background, and our background, again, depending on the instructions, but for this uh, particular assignment, we're going to change it to 8.5 by 11. So we're going to go up here to File, to New, and from there, we are going to change our width to 8.5 and our height to 11. And we want a resolution to match, so we're at 150 with a white background right here. Make sure that's white. Everything else should be good. Make sure this says pixels per inch. Also, make sure that this is at inches. I'm going to click on Create. That gives us our background. Now we're just going to slide these photos over. So if I click on my first photo, I click on the Move tool here, or press V. I'm going to click, hold down the button, the left button, drag it up to our new background, keep holding the mouse button down, come over here and hit yes for that and drop this in here. Okay. If you hold down shift while you do it, it's going to center it. Um, we'll show you how to center it later though also. So now I'm going to choose, uh, and actually this one I'm going to want at the bottom towards the bottom and we're going to come click on our other one with the shallow depth of field. Again, click, drag, keep clicking, and then let go once you're on the new background. I'm going to make this disappear and now we're going to put these right here. So I'm going to bring this up to the top, leave a little bit of a border at the top. Uh, we need room to label these uh, and we want to make sure they're centered. As you drag these, if you notice that pink line pops up, that shows you that it's centered. Real quick, easy way to get things centered. All right, now we need to label them, and the way we're going to label them is with our exposure. If you're not sure what your exposures were, go back to Lightroom. Click on your photo, and over here, if we go to Metadata, and we can choose, oh, where are we at? Um, Go here and go to EXIF and come down here and it's going to give your exposure right here 0.5 seconds at F22. So that's for the more extensive depth of field. So down here we're going to click on our text tool. Go here. We got 0 0.5 um, and that was seconds. So we're just going to do shutter speed for that and F slash 22 for our aperture and our ISO by default for this assignment was at 400. Again, that will be in your, um, in your settings. Now this is too big of a font and I don't like the type of font. In this assignment, we were asked to choose Baskerville at 16 point font. So we're going to go down here to Baskerville. We're going to click on that and we're going to change this to 16. All right, and for some reason this is on bold, we want this on regular. Okay, once we've done that, uh, we're going to press the check mark to set that. And then over here, 
we're going to uh, type in that this is a um, sorry a greater depth of field so greater and then we can just go DOF for depth of field and we're going to bring this kind of to the middle because over on the far side we're going to put your name down here in the bottom right hand corner line it up with almost the edge uh, we'll adjust those in a minute then at the top we're going to do the same thing I don't know what my settings were let's go check real quick on this guy with the shallow depth of field and right here is your ISO in case you have forgotten but 180 at f3.5 so we're gonna go 1 over 80 sorry um, so we're gonna go 1 over 80 uh, the shutter speed f3.5 and ISO 400. Fortunately, that other stuff's in our way. We're going to hit check. We'll hit on this, bring this over into the middle. And this is our shallow depth of field check mark. OK, if I press the V tool or move up here, I can now adjust these as needed. Um, make sure that these are centered and in line with the other thing and you'll get those um, pink lines that are showing you if they're in line with your other text and if it's in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with each of these. Be careful if you double click it's going to select you to edit text so just kind of be careful there. But that's looking pretty good. Uh, everything looks even. Things, uh, photos are centered. Uh, once we're done with that, uh, depending on the assignment, uh, you're going to save it to the proper file. For this one, we're saving it as JPEG. So file, you can go straight to save a copy. I would highly recommend you save this as a PSD file. So save as a PSD file uh, on your OneDrive. But I'm just going to jump right to the JPEG. I'm going to go to my OneDrive. I'm going to go to Photo 2023. Uh, and we are now in second quarter. So I'm going to go to second quarter. If you want to create a new file or folder, you can. I'm just going to save it right here. And I'm going to title this Aperture. And click Save. Make sure that was JPEG. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that. but. Um, Make sure you're saving as a JPEG and the instructions say, ask to save it at high quality, which is 8 right here. We hit OK. And now that is saved and ready to be submitted in Canvas. So hopefully this helps. If you have questions, make sure to ask.